Hi, I'm Caroline Weilert, Vice President of Marketing at Valley Crest Landscape <laughs> Maintenance. I'm in Seattle at the BOMA International Show, and I'm joined today by Kelly Furr, Senior Facilities Manager, Georgia Power at Cassidy Turley. So nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. Thanks for sitting down with me. Absolutely. Let me start by congratulating you on the Toby Award. Very well, exciting you. news. It is. It is. You want to uh, share with me what um, you think contributed to your winning it? Well, it was a, a surprise a little bit. Um, you know, we um, had just recently gone through in 2010 with a LEED certification, and there was a lot of documentation that goes into that. And so that kind of really helped prep us for the, the, the BOMA Toby. Um, we've been at the facility for quite a while and have had a lot of systems documented over the years and um, just kind of pulling all that together. It was a lot of work, but um, could have been a lot worse had we not already had a lot of systems in place. Yeah. So it was, uh, it, it, it went well. Good. Hope you had a big celebration. Yes. Um, all right. Your next question is um, properties can gain an advantage through sustainability initiatives. You know that. You did the lead right. um, work on your project. Right. Um, can you share some examples that uh, you've seen outside of getting the LEED certification um, in the sustainability space that are contributing to your success and what results you've seen? Yeah, well we represent a, a public utility so uh, you know sustainability is, is utmost and forefront in their minds and, and uh, being a good corporate citizen they're, they're wanting to do everything just right. Uh, energy efficiency uh, is Kind of a standard for them, and so they're 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 trying and testing out a lot of technologies before they introduce them to their clients. So you know LED technology, um, we have our, our sign on our building is backlit by LEDs. We have some surface parking lot that are kind of a test model, some photovoltaic that are tied into the building. So they're trying to figure out what's the best um, technology for the southeast, and and that's kind of neat. So we get to enjoy some of that learning curve with them. Uh, but from a standpoint of our actual day-to-day -day building operations, we have uh, enjoyed some some efforts that have been put forth, uh, and, you know, specific to uh, landscaping. Uh, irrigation has been a big focus for us, and just last year, through a lot of uh, some turf conversions and plant material conversions, as well as some focus on irrigation uh, enhancements, uh, technology-wise, we had about a 1.5 million gallon savings for one year. So that translates to about sixty thousand dollars. That's that's a pretty good amount of money for us. Um, and a little bit of money on, on, on the waste uh, management side of things too. That's been kind of fun. You, uh, Valley Crest actually helps us out with that with uh, on-site uh, uh, clippings and not bagging or anything. Um, but uh, waste management, we uh, divert about 60% of our, our materials um, off-site and take advantage of that and uh, actually do it for less than it used to cost us about three years ago. So That's terrific. So there's some financial savings of being sustainable. Yeah, you, uh, you talked about some of the improvements in the landscape. So how does that affect the people who are on your property? Well, uh, the property has been there since 1980. And so multiple transitions and evolutions through the landscaping. And so there's a lot of um, older growth material that um, being in an urban environment, you've got to make sure that you're maintaining from a safety standpoint for lighting as well as, as trying to keep it out of being really a, a hiding place for some, some, somebody. Um, so we, we try to make sure that we're being a good citizen to our neighbors and, and keeping um, even some of the, the, the public areas maintained uh, for the city uh, to kind of keep them nice. So we kind of branch a little bit outside of our realm um, to, to make it nice for the neighbors. Um, of course, we always have had very, very good comments from our clients uh, about how nice it looks. So, Valley Crest has done a great job there. That's terrific. Thanks. Um, and then the final question is, as you look at the future, what do you see um, as the upcoming trends? Um, what's next for our industry? Well, we're on the, the facility side of things, and again, being with public utility, um, it, it may be a little bit different. Um, we are continue to be... Um, kind of in the spotlight for being sustainable. Um, and so we're always looking for different things to incorporate. We're looking a lot at lighting controls. While we've done a lot of things, there's still some things out there. And some of it's kind of costly, so we're kind of having to phase into it and still focused on uh, some, some irrigation enhancements that, that we're just uh, not prepared to throw everything out there at one time. Um, okay, sounds perfect. All well, right. I appreciate your time. Sure. Thanks for sitting down with me. Nice to uh, chat with you. Very good. Okay. Thank you.